Ooh, ooh vinyl siding, finished basement, oh, central air conditioning, oh, a three car garage, wow. This home is definitely worth the price tag. Hi there, welcome to the Red Desk, my home away from home and your home for all things real estate. Today, we're going to talk about a process that dictates so much of the housing market. No, not mortgages, that's a different episode. I'm talking about home appraisals. Whether you're a buyer, seller, or getting your house refinanced, appraisals are always a big deal because Getting a poor appraisal can be real bad news for everyone involved. If you're a buyer, an appraisal under your offer price could mean that you can't get the loan you need. If you're the seller, you risk the buyer backing out. And if you're looking to refinance, a home appraisal will directly affect how much you can take out for that new open concept kitchen you had planned. Fortunately, there are ways to make sure you get the best appraisal possible. Simply put, an appraisal is just a professional estimate of the value of a home. They are scheduled with a third party by the lender, and they go like this. A professional will come to check out the property, note any issues or recent repairs, examine the home's livability, and compare it to similar homes in the local market to give an official estimate on what the house is worth. This happens after the offer, but before the house is closed. Don't get it mixed up. An inspection is not an appraisal, and an appraisal is not an inspection. It is recommended that before buying the home, you have it inspected, but it's not a requirement. The appraisal, that's mandatory. Inspectors, appraisers, so confusing. Think of it like this. The appraiser is assessing the value of the home, the same way someone on an antiques roadshow assesses the value of a family heirloom. So. Why should you care about what a stranger says about a property? Well, it's because that someone has got some serious influence. The impact of the appraisal depends on your role in this whole home buying thing. Buyers, sellers, lenders. They all use appraisals for different purposes. For lenders, appraisals are how they make sure buyers aren't spending way more than a house is worth. Because if they do, they're more likely to default. That's why buyers can't borrow more than the appraisal. It might be a bummer, but no one wants to get ripped off paying more for something that is way less. If you're a buyer, appraisals set how much you can borrow and act as a failsafe for making a really bad decision. If you're a seller, appraisers act as a sort of litmus test for your listing price. And finally, if you're refinancing, appraisals affect your rates and the amount of money you can borrow. All right, ladies and gents, still following along? It's time for some pro tips. First up, buyers. If you're a buyer and the house appraises for less than you've agreed to pay, you may find yourself having to bring more money to the table on closing day. Or you'll have to negotiate with the seller to drop the price to get the deal done. Tip one. Be thoughtful and make a well-informed offer. The best defense is a good offense applies here. If you're in a seller's market where house prices are super inflated, chances are your appraisal will be lower than the offer. That's okay if you know that going in, but if you don't have a lot of savings, then you should make an offer that's closer to the home's true price. How do you know a home's true price? Well, that's something you need to figure out with your real estate agent. If you really think the appraisal is incorrect, you can appeal to your lender, but be prepared to provide examples of homes similar to yours in your area that have sold within the last six months to illustrate your argument. Appraisals aren't an exact science. There's a possibility of bias, overlooked details, and all sorts of things that can mess with the perception of the appraiser. If you think something's off with the appraisal, then speak with your agent to see what they think. Look. You only have so much control, and a low appraisal could actually save you from making a bad decision. So just prepare yourself for anything and consult with your real estate agent for more advice. Okay, now for the sellers out there. If you're selling, you're going to want to make sure the home appraisal is as accurate as possible. You also want it to be for as much money as possible. You're aiming for that sweet spot between, wow, I made some money on this house, and Ugh, I think it's overvalued, now no one wants to buy it. Here's a few tips. 
Spend a little cash on sprucing up the place. A little curb appeal, fresh coat of paint, you know the drill. But make sure you save all the receipts. Showing documentation of your upgrades will help knock that appraisal price up. Tip two, being there in person lets you point out any upgrades or renovations you've made that they may miss if you aren't there. On appraisal day, you want your house to be clean, spacious, inviting, warm, all of the things. So that means replacing dim light bulbs, pulling furniture away from the walls, adding mirrors to maximize natural light. You may have knocked out most of this when preparing your house for showings, but it's good to think through it again. If you or your agent know of houses nearby that sold at similar prices, then you should give them to your appraiser. You can get that info from online sources like Rocket Homes. It seems obvious, but when you're refinancing, you want the highest appraisal value possible. Why? Because this lists your equity value, which you can use to justify a higher price when selling your house. You'll also be able to cash out more equity to do home improvements if you want to make upgrades. A low appraisal, on the other hand, could also be the end of any refinancing plans. Here's how to succeed with an appraisal when refinancing. Look, we all get attached to our houses. You can be a bit biased and overlook defects in your house because it has sentimental value to you. But maybe your kitchen is ugly. Somebody has to break the news. My advice? Convince your most honest friend to drop by and give you a list of things that you could do to improve your home. If they happen to be in real estate, even better. <sighs> Look at that! Time to face your hoarding habit. Treat this appraisal like you're staging the home for a sale. Make your house as pristine as possible before the appraisal appointment. It shouldn't matter, but it does. Image is everything. Again, the work you put in isn't always obvious. Did you install a new air conditioner? Replace a few windows? Spruce up your landscaping? Make a list, check it twice, and give it to the appraiser so they can consider those in their report. All right, you're officially as prepared as you can be. Not gonna lie, appraisals can be stressful, but just lean on your real estate agent if you got one and be as thorough as possible for your appraiser. You're going to do great. I promise! Oh, and hey, whether you're a buyer, seller, or getting refinanced, it's always a good idea to have a pulse on the housing market in your area. And the easiest way to do that is to use the tools on Rocket Homes. You can check out their property report that helps homeowners understand how much their house is worth and how it compares to similar homes in the area. Check it out at the link in the description. Good luck! Red Desk out! Thanks you guys for checking us out. If you'd like to see some more videos, you can click right here and don't forget, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.